they simply want us to count the number of islands in the map. Map is not a real map, right? It is just a two-dimensional array or a vector. As you see, for example, once represents the island here. Zero is not an island, it's a sea or another thing. Like this. Ones are island, zeros are not islands. That is the thing. So for example, the vector, two-dimensional vector, will be like this. We will code these things. Let's check the first ones. When we read a row like this, it looks like a graph. That means when we traverse this graph structure, we will find one island in the map. So we will use this BFS here to find the islands, the number of islands. We will get one here, for example, with an if condition. Then we will explore the neighborhood coordinates of this coordinate. 0, 1 first here and 1, 0 here and 0, minus 1 here and minus 1, 0 here according to this, this green coordinate. As you see that, we have to check the boundary of these conditions. Otherwise, it creates an access violation. This is not a good idea, right? We will use Q to store the information of the coordinates. We can simply push the information to Q and pop up from this Q. This is really suitable for this structure, for this algorithm. This will call actually the BFS, Bread First Search. So we see the first one here, 0, 3. We will push this coordinate to Q. Then we will assign to zero, not to check again, otherwise we have to check again or again and again, this is not a good idea. Then we will explore the neighborhood coordinates of this coordinate. First we pop up from the queue, we get the coordinate x and y, then we will check the right one, zero, four, the first. Then we will push this information, the coordinates here, to the queue. Then we will continue to explore all the ones like this, until we finish all the ones. That means we found one island in the map. This is the idea. Then we will check the another neighborhood coordinates here. One, three. And we will push the queue. Then we will pop up 0, 4 from front of the queue. Then we will start to explore the neighborhood coordinates of this coordinate 0, 5 and 1, 4. Also, we will make, we will assign this coordinates to zero, not to check again, right? Then we will pop up one three to explore one five. Then we will pop up all the values from the queue. That means we found one of the island in the map. That means we finish to explore one island exactly in the map. For this area, for example, we will increment the result by one at the end or at the beginning. This is the idea. So let's check how we can do that in the code side. Here we have a two-dimensional vector. And as you see that, 
there are three islands on this two-dimensional vector as before I explained you can copy this function direct to lead code to test it will work so first we create an integer result variable this will a number of the items we will return at the end first we check if the grid's empty we will return direct result zero I mean then we get the number of rows and the number of columns using the grid size and the first grid size as you expect then we create the pair the coordinates of the neighborhood coordinates to explore which will be first 0 1 dry side 1 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 and that is all four coordinates we need to explore this is the possible moves of knight in the chess you can check this example this idea is coming from here and now we iterate the two-dimensional vector using two for loop first number of rows and the second number of columns And if you, we found the one like this, then we increment the result. That means we found the island, at least one island, right? Then we create the queue with a pair to integer to store the coordinates. We will push this i and g value right as a coordinate q then until q is empty in the while loop we will explore whole graph first we will get the front data and pop the q then we will check the neighborhood coordinates for x p first plus neighborhood coordinates key first and for the y this will be the neighborhood coordinate key second for x and for y coordinates then we checked the boundary conditions And also if it is one that means the part of the island we found we will make, make it zero we assign it to zero and we push this coordinate in the queue to explore the other points right so it's a good idea to also make it zero here this will be i and g so here and we should return the result let's run an example and as you see it's working it returns three three islands so let's debug the code to understand better I will put here a breakpoint where the first one is it catched? Then I simply start the debugger. We catch the first one here. E i is zero and g is three. We can check here also. I is zero. G is three here. We increment the next step the result. Result is one. We know that at least one island is exist right now now we add this i and g i and g zero and three i and g to the queue 
and we assign this coordinate to zero you can check it is it's changed right now zero and three right it is zero right now now q is not empty there is one element in q as you see first is zero second element is three the coordinate here then we take this coordinate and pop the q the only one element is x is right now the, actually right now there is no element in the q you, you see it's empty now we uh, check the coordinates the neighborhood coordinates of this uh, coordinate we first take x is zero and y is four this coordinate will be i think this one this one x let me check again x0 y4 x0 y4 here it is one here we will make this zero and we will push this coordinate to our q to check to check the neighborhood of this coordinate and then we will check again we have one more coordinate that is one in the one and three in the grid let's check one and three this one and we'll make this zero so we can check again let's refresh one and three is zero right now so we don't have to check again in the next and there is no other neighborhood coordinate for this then we will leave i think now in the queue there are two elements see first second and in one three we will check also the neighborhood coordinates of these coordinates in the next using q using pop up the value we will get the front value from the q r q which is zero and four we will check this coordinate right now and here x is zero and five we have a one here we will push zero and five to our q and also this is one we will make this zero and also sorry and also we'll push this coordinate to the rq then we'll continue like this there's no other ones let's check how many ones we have in the first and second row the first row all are zero right now as you see there is nothing to check in the first row anymore in the one in the first and uh, second row let's say there is only one here to check one coordinate which is five uh, which is one and five right now we pop the value and we get the front value in this key which is p here one three and let's check the one three is there anything one there is no one here as you see one three none here so we will continue for all coordinates there is nothing and it will popped up here so only one coordinate here four and one four this is we are looking for actually here one five as you see one five let's check one five this is the one we will make zero here and push the rq so let's check again so as you see we finish for this island to explore right so just we need only to consume these coordinates anymore not, nothing more that i will continue like this here 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 it's all finished q there is only one element in this q i will consume this one also it is finished as you see that we are out of the while loop here we count one for the number of islands 
so we will check the other coordinates. It will continue like this. At the end, we will count three islands, like that. That is all. The other islands, the algorithm will work the same like this. You can check also if you want. So let's uh, check how Python code will work for this an algorithm, for this structure. For Python, this is also same here. First, we will get the length, the row length of the column length also. And we create the directions here like this. We have the same, like the same. Then we iterate for M and N with the for loop and row and columns. Then we increment, if we see the one here, we increment the count by one. Then we create a queue here. Then we'll append the coordinate to queue, like a push. Then we'll assign to zero this coordinate. And in, then in the while loop, as long as Q is not empty, we get the coordinate from the left side, from the front, that means front. We pop the data from front as an RC. And in the directions, we checked the RC values here using the directions value. Then we checked also the boundary conditions. And if it is one here, this coordinate, then we increment, actually we don't increment, we just append to the Q this coordinate. Then we assign to zero, it's the same. At the end we return the count. That's all, if it's the same like this, there's nothing more to tell. You can directly copy this code to lead code also, it will work, I tried. So guys, uh, thanks for watching, that is all for me here. Uh, do not forget to subscribe, see you again.